Hello everybody, I'm back again with another video. Hope you're doing well. Hope your life's going well. Hope that this week has gone well for you and I hope that today has gone well for you. Today is Saturday, January the 27th. It is about 5 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I hope you're doing well. Hope that your weekend has gone well so far. Um, as for me, I didn't really do much. I went to get something to eat earlier and um, that's about it um, I wish that daylight savings time was here because I'd be going out for a run afterwards but I just think that if I go out for a run it's going to be nighttime by the time I get done um, and colder but I wonder is it worth it because I haven't gone running in a few weeks um, you know I've just been working and everything and um, so I don't know I, I haven't done it in a while I don't even think that I'm gonna do that good if I was to you know go out and run um, I think part of it is because I did move and the fact is I moved away from a lot of the places that I would frequent and so that's kind of a problem that I run into but oh well but let's talk about something and I took a lot of notes on this particular subject um, I think I'm lonely I think that I'm lonely and I'll tell you the reasons why I think that I'm lonely um, number one I live alone number two I don't really go out like that and when I go out, it's always alone. I don't really go out with any particular person or persons. Um, there isn't really a lot of human interaction that I get outside of going to work. And when I go somewhere, it's like buy something to eat or whatever, you know, or go to the store. It's like the only human interaction I get. Otherwise, I kind of, even when I go to the park, I don't really talk to people I just kind of do my own thing and yeah that's cool you know people say oh you know I want to be you know this and that you know free from people and all that but you can only do that up to a certain extent you need human interaction that's very important to your psyche it's very important to talk to other people to connect with other people you know and I think that I haven't had that there's been a lack of that in my life since I'd say about about 2020 when you know everything went down you know we know what happened in 2020 so that caused it and then 2021 when I became a truck driver now that did um, that decision that I made to become a truck driver in 2021 was a um, excellent decision I believe but there was an unintended consequence of that and that was the fact that I just have been pretty lonely since then I mean trucking is a lonely job and my first trucking job I would stay out a week at a time um, go home a couple of days where I would just pretty much rest and then go back on the road and I did that for a little over a year and um, I think that the fact that the job came with a lack of human interaction outside of interacting with like the people I would deliver the freight to I mean and in the fact that that job was an overnight job too I was pulling refrigerated trailers and you know in trucking a lot of refrigerated is overnight and so um, you look at it and you say man um, <laughs> you know um, it caused me to become lonely and I have to do the first step and the first step is recognizing it and um I'm going to have to kind of come up with a game plan of what I'm going to do um, about this loneliness thing. Uh, um, trucking is good, but trucking can become lonely. Even my second trucking job. It was a 
huge lack of human interaction with that job, even though I was home every other day, or almost every day. And so, if you're looking at trucking, that is something to consider, by the way. Um, if you're doing over the road or regional trucking, there's a chance that you will become lonely, especially if you don't have like a family or anybody to come to, like come home to, you know. It, it, it can make you lonely. And so, yeah, um, I think um, loneliness is a huge epidemic in the United States. Um, I was reading this USA Today article, and I'm going to link it in the description box below this video. Um, loneliness is a serious problem, and um, the events of 2020 didn't help. Um, social media technology does not help it actually makes the problem worse and let's just talk about some of these things um, um, let's see I have some notes here um, it says loneliness can lead to heart disease dementia stroke and premature death and that's because being lonely it causes problems inside of us not just outside it causes problems inside of us and um, you have to have that regular human interaction in order to be able to you know function normally you know that's why people you know get together that's why relationships exist you know people get together that's why friendships exist we need that human interaction we need that connection and when you're not getting that connection it can cause problems um i think technology has a lot to do with it you know a lot of people nowadays especially gen z people in my age group we rather text and actually pick up the phone and talk and that's a big problem um you know people um, we're, we're not even when you hear a person's voice, you feel more connected with them. When you're hearing someone talk, you're hearing another human being expressing themselves through their voice. Even when you're watching this video, you probably feel more connected with me if you were watching this video versus you getting a transcript of this video and just reading all the way through it it's not the same it's not the same as seeing another person hearing their voice seeing you know seeing their body language it's it's not the same and i think that we as human beings have to understand that um pick up the phone pick up the phone sometimes and talk now i'm not saying you have to do it all the time but sometimes it's better to talk to somebody you know and people don't want to do that especially gen z my age group um a couple of stats here 61 percent of people between the ages of 18 and 25 report being lonely compared to 39 percent of the general population and we know why we know why that's the case we know that technology is heavily used by people that's between the ages of 18 and 25 likes and click likes shares and followers that can only do so much that can only do so much um you know human interaction is important um you know and there's three types of loneliness i want to talk about you have psychological or what is this what did i write on here psychological loneliness is when someone doesn't have anyone to confide in or trust so you may have people around you but you still feel lonely because you don't really connect with any of these people you don't have anything in common with these people you are just there and I know that can happen you know especially in a work environment but outside of the work environment just in general you can feel lonely you know, I feel lonely and I go to work. And my job involves talking to several types, different personality types every day, you know, because you're dealing with like, you know, different customers all throughout the day. 
that's different personalities are interacting with but do I feel connected with anyone no because I'm not in a relationship I come home to this empty apartment I don't I don't have that I don't have that connection and so that's physio psychological loneliness we have societal loneliness which is when someone feels isolated due to gender race disability or some other like factor like that and um i think this can happen i don't think this is very common and just in a generalized setting i think it kind of depends on the area or the environment you're in like let's say you work in a like let's say you're like a a woman that works in a very male dominated environment um i'm sure like that woman can kind of feel isolated or lonely that's kind of like societal loneliness but if you're just intermingled with society in general men women all races and you know everything um you know like if you live in a very diverse area that's the word I don't think you would experience this that much, but yeah, you can feel isolated, you know, societal loneliness, different environments. Then you have existential loneliness, which is when someone feels disconnected from themselves. Um, that can be spiritually, emotionally. There's something within you that you don't feel connected with. You feel like you exist but you have not connected with your inner you know some people solve that by going to church um some people solve that by you know looking within themselves deeply and under you know trying to gain an understanding of themselves therapy is good for this as well um feeling disconnected from themselves is very real and so those are the three types of loneliness. And you can have all three of these, by the way. Um, some of the groups of people that can experience loneliness or at high risk of experiencing loneliness are, and I'm just kind of going according to the article, is people who are financially insecure, older populations, people who are disabled, live alone, in poor physical or mental health, and single parents. And I'm sure there's more groups, but that's the groups that they kind of pointed out. And so, um, this is a this is a problem. This is a problem that you know we have to address. There's a lot of people that's lonely out here, and think about it. They just did this um, this study, and these are only the people that have self-reported. These aren't the people that are, you know, not reporting, right? Um, and so, yeah, you know, Americans, United States, more than ever, with all this technology and these advancements we have, it's making us lonely. We're disconnected from people. That's why you see people in other parts of the world that don't have as much as, as much as us. They're happier than us. They are happy, you know, because they have human interaction, people, just someone to talk to. You know, they live naturally. They they do a lot of things together. They're not so individualistic and caught up with social media like us in the United States, especially young people. Some older people, this doesn't affect as much because they're old school. They rather pick up the phone and talk. They rather talk face to face with somebody. Young people ain't trying to do that. And we have to understand that this is a problem. Um, and so. It also said that people between the ages of 50 and 80 years old experience, you know, 27% of people that were 50 to 80 years old reported being lonely in October 2018, and that jumped up to 56% in June of 2020, and we know why. Now, that number has went back down to 34% in, uh, I believe, 2023, but it's elevated. It's still higher than it was before, you know? You know, our reliance on Zoom meetings now. Zoom wasn't popular before 2020. Um, a lot of things changed. 
um, just all types of stuff. Um, and I have a couple of quotes from here. It says, social media has accelerated loneliness as research shows that feeling lonely is more common in heavy users of these sites. Although likes and followers make you feel good in the moment, they don't foster genuine connections with other people. That's extremely true. You're not getting anything real out of seeing a like, out of seeing a follow, out of seeing um, a retweet, you know? genuine connections are real experience genuine connections and I know you're watching me through your phone but I mean even that's better than like just reading text or you know what I mean and so um, but I do encourage you go outside and talk to somebody you know go call a family go call a friend just talk to them you know and I think that our social skills have taken a hit too I know mine have it's harder to really just start conversations with people. And, um, I mean, I, I still know how to do it, of course, but it, it I, it's been harder for me to do. It doesn't come as natural for me as it used to. And, um, they also talked about solutions. Um, here's a quote that I wrote down from this article. It says on an individual level, <laughs> there are things that people can practice that, um, can prevent them from feeling lonely. Um, take it says take 15 minutes to reach out to someone you care about. Look for ways to serve others and make the time count by giving other people your full attention and put devices away. Um, especially if you're on like a you know the first thing that kind of comes to mind is if you're on a, like a date with somebody or even if you go out with a friend, put that phone up. Give your friend, give your date that full attention. You know, don't be all on your phone the whole time. That's first is kind of rude, but it's just ridiculous that you'd be so glued to that phone that you can't even like experience just true, natural human interaction with that person without that technology getting in the way of that. Um, I even underlined the part that says put devices away. I have it underlined because we have to put these devices up sometimes. Not saying all the time because technology has its purpose. It has its use. It has its good things about it. But you have to put this technology away in order to foster these genuine connections. You know, you can't get it over the phone over text like you can hearing somebody talk seeing somebody you know it's not the same and that's why animals they stick together animals um think of any animal you know um lions hang out with other lions elephants hang out with other elephants giraffes hang out with other giraffes fish hang out with other fish um you know that's why you see a community of fish swimming around. They have the, the 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 interaction, that interaction with other, you know, um, animals. That's why they're, I don't think animals really feel lonely. Um, I think it could happen if they're like a domesticated animal, like a dog that doesn't ever really see other dogs like that. That might happen with them. That's why if I buy like a dog, I'd probably buy like two or three of them. Uh, I don't think I'd buy a dog by itself because dogs need that interaction with like other dogs, you know. Um, but, um, you know, society, we have to all work together and not have such an individualistic mentality. We can't be all about me, myself and I all the time I know it sounds cliche to say yeah I'll be to be by myself and this and that that sounds cliche it sounds cool on the surface but it's not you need to go out and make connections with other people and I know I need to do this as well because I'm talking to myself as well I'm not just talking to y'all but yeah um this is a very important topic that I thought I'd talk about 
but uh, we're coming up on 20 minutes uh, I'm going to uh, bring this video to a close um, I really thank you all for watching um, I probably have another video uploaded tomorrow morning or afternoon I'm not sure so stay tuned for that but with that I really do thank you for watching have a great rest of your Saturday and um, stay tuned for my next video